So let's have a look at these um, fabulous online proof reading applications that you can access right from your computer. No need to go and talk to anyone to go and fix your writing. You can do it right here online. So let's take a look at the Hemingway application to start with. So to get to it, you just need to go to HemingwayApp.com and it shows you basically what it can do. So it highlights things that are complex with respect to the, well, the complexity of the actual sentence and how long it is and things of that nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the right button and I'm just going to highlight all of this and replace it with some text that I put together earlier. This is from one of my old blog posts, but what I've done is I actually introduced a few intentional errors. So let's see if the application is going to be able to catch it. I'm just going to stick some spaces here so that it's a little bit easier to read. So let's go to edit and ew. So um, I'm not sure what happened up here, but basically it's telling me that my readability level is a grade nine. I actually prefer to get it at a grade seven or eight at most. This is a little bit too complex. And as I can see that I have two out of the 11 sentences that are hard to read and three that are um, very hard to read. And these are highlighted in those colors. So let's see if I can try and simplify these sentences. Let me do one of the um, these ones here. So find the latest guy you're reading even this post and spend the next five minutes, blah, 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 blah. So this is obviously a very long sentence. So let's say that I make this um, finally on your reading. Full stop. It could even be this post. Full stop. Spend the next five minutes deciding. Let me remove the parens and writing down what you will do about it. Full stop. And then I will say, also decide how you will use it and by when you'll have it done. And so by breaking up that long paragraph into simpler sentences, I was able to reduce the complexity. So the Hemingway app basically highlights how difficult your language is and shows you how to simplify it somewhat. Well, it doesn't show you how to do that, but it highlights what you need to simplify. And the things that you really want to pay attention to is to go with short sentences, avoid jargon, avoid passive voice and those kinds of things. And as you can see, I've gone from a grade nine down to a grade seven. Yay. I could probably simplify it even further if I then try to deconstruct these two sentences. Let's now have a look at another application. So here I am at Grammarly.com and so signing up can get a little bit kind of weird. So here's what I suggest you do. I've accessed it from Chrome and I'm not logged in so you can see what the sign up process looks like. So let's go to get Grammarly. It's going to ask me to add it to Chrome. I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to just cancel and I'll say no thanks when it says, do you want to start in? I don't want it installed on Chrome. I just want to use it on the web. So I'm going to go ahead and say no thanks. Now it's going to get me to sign up. So let me go ahead and do that. It's already trying to sell me the premium. You don't need the premium just yet. So you can just go ahead and continue to the account and it gives you up to what 100 points of grammar, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm going to go ahead and skip the tour. Right. Let me just dismiss this. I don't want to put in the extension. So let's just go ahead and do a new document. So I'm just going to click on the new. It's going to give me an empty document. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my carefully messed up piece of text. Again, I'm breaking it up just so you can see it a little bit easier. So as you can see, I this was supposed to read 
For example, say you have a guide on how to write killer headlines. I purposely changed that to has, and as you can see, it's caught that. And it's telling me, nope, you want to change it to the correct verb form. It's also picked up this translate spelling mistake. It's picked up this um, answering question solidifies, and it's told me it's actually should say solidify because it's two things answering questions so teaching a skill reinforce it for yourself and answering questions solidifies it even more actually i think in this case i'm correct and they're wrong but you get the point um it is telling me that this should be it is or actually no it should be just it it appears that you're missing a comma etc etc so let me just get rid of that should be there you go that's taken care of and here it's even noticed that i'm missing a space how insane is that so let me go ahead and put that space in this one is a spelling mistake so i'll click on it and fixes it and here i've taken out the word too so and it caught it's caught that it's so easy turn to turn that around so i'll click on that and it'll fix that and same thing here, has, have. So as you can see, Grammarly is really, really useful and it's fairly quick to use and you can use it from your browser once you've created an account. So between the two applications, Hemingway app and Grammarly, you've got two excellent tools that can help make sure that your writing is spot on.